Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, this is a really exciting vlog. I'm so excited to finally say I'll be graduating this weekend. I've been waiting two years for this ceremony. So yeah, as you can imagine, I am filled with so many emotions right now. Um, this is going to be a really quick update though because I've just got in from work, chucked on some uh, warm clothes, it is very rainy and grim outside today and I've just been informed that my train was cancelled so I'm trying to dash for the earlier one because I need to make it to Cambridge tonight to graduate in the morning and yeah, can't can't be late to this one, I'm already two years late so don't want to miss it um, but I need to dash out the door and yeah, I'm not sure I'll have much time to talk to you guys when I get there because it will be quite a tight turnaround I won't be arriving in Cambridge until quite late and then I have to um, go out for dinner with family and yeah just kind of want to immerse myself in the moment it's a bit rushed and a bit panicked at the minute but we'll get there very busy day today and very busy weekend ahead but I'm so excited to be finally graduating if I haven't said that enough already and I can't wait to share the experience with all of you guys so I'll see you when I get to Cambridge graduation day I have been waiting so long for this literally two years in waiting because my my graduation should have happened two years ago um, but obviously it was cancelled due to COVID then we came home for a year sat exams from home had a virtual graduation ceremony we then thought it would be postponed to the year after and COVID was still with us and finally two years on we have managed to reschedule it the date is the 9th of September and yeah, like it's it kind of crazy, it doesn't feel real. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be as special as it would have been. Obviously my family have made a really big effort to try and make it as special as they can to make up for the fact that it didn't happen when it should have. But it just feels very weird that I'm now onto my third job in the working world and I'm only just graduating now. Like university feels like such a lifetime away, but very excited to see some familiar faces. My friend Will, if any of you know who that is, is also graduating today so I'll get to see him. I've got my twin brother is here, my parents are here, my granddad's travelled down. We're staying at the Gonville Hotel in Cambridge which, let me tell you, is super fancy. It is nearly 7am, I got up at 6, I had a pretty rocky night's sleep because I was very nervous and just kept getting heart palpitations. I think a mixture of nerves and excitement because I've been waiting for this day for so long. Um, 
But yeah, I've just gotten up, curled my hair, did quite a tight curl because it's going to rain today. So I'm hoping if it's tight now, it'll drop out through the day and actually look like how I want it to look by the time I'm graduating and getting pictures. Fingers crossed, praying the rain holds off because it is forecast for thunder and lightning storms. But as long as they, they stay away in the morning while we process through the streets of Cambridge and I can get my pictures outside, that is that would be great, please. Um, yep, and then about to head down to get breakfast and then I've got to put my shirt and my hood in my gown on which is really exciting and I can't wait to show you all so yes very exciting day ahead already in my fluffy hood and my gown and in my graduation attire unfortunately I can't get the hood to pin it's really stressing me out so I'm hoping the porters will be, will be able to help me when I arrive in college because it just keeps falling off my shoulders like I just I don't understand how this is meant to sit on you properly but hopefully they'll have done this a million times and will be able to pin it on for me
refrigeration done. We are outside on the Senate House lawn and the sun even came out for it. It was meant to be thunderstorms, but we managed to get glorious sunshine. So I'm feeling like we've gotten really lucky today and it's just such a nice occasion. And I didn't trip, that's the main point. I did not fall. all done what did you think fabulous. was it what you expected fabulous fabulous Better. did you understand all the latin oh yes oh yeah because we're all we're all well versed in latin <laughs> do you enjoy it did you enjoy it granddad yes. <laughs> very good We are now walking back to Jesus College for the Prosecco reception in the Fellows Garden. It was meant to be thunder and lightning as I've said and we've managed to get glorious sunshine so fingers crossed that's going to go ahead outside now and then we've got a lovely lunch to follow up. I'm not sure what kind of lunch it is whether it's like a three course meal or like a buffet style but I'm just feeling great that the weather's good, we've got our professional photos, the ceremony went ahead, couldn't have wished for anything better really. That is graduation lunch done. It was very, very tasty. I think my family were a little bit disappointed that it was mostly salad, which was fine by me because I like a mozzarella salad, but I think my brother was hoping for more meat options and then two desserts, chocolate brownie and a creme brulee, my favorite, so that was tasty. And now we're off to six for cocktails. So for any of you that don't know, Six is a rooftop bar in Cambridge that has panoramic views of the city and it's known for having really delicious cocktails so that's how we're going to celebrate. The sun has still held up, I am so hot in my big fluffy hood and my black heavy gown um, but I'm so glad it's sunny instead of raining because we've had the best day, we've got the best pictures, like I couldn't have wished for any better especially with all the stress of last night and um, news in the UK recently and the weather and the thunder storms like it's just it's gone better than I expected I was definitely planning for rain so I'm feeling on top of the world right now had a Prosecco or two had a glass of bread and yeah may the celebrations continue Yeah. I don't even know how it's meant to lie because when I do it like this, it kind of unhooks from the button. Mm -hmm. At least if it rained, this would have would have protected me. I'm glad it didn't rain. Though. <laughs>
some friends. <laughs> Will and I luckily got to graduate together, which was really nice. A college marriage that has stood the test of time. <laughs> and Hannah, the wonderful Hannah, has come in to see us. But it's just started raining, which I mean, we're really lucky that it's just started now. It was. It's six, six o'clock. Yeah. So it was meant to be thunderstorms today, and we avoided it for the whole day, for the pictures, for the ceremony, for the procession, for the lunch. There was no <laughs> rain, and that was all outdoors. Um, and it's just hit now, so I feel like that is really good timing. I don't mind it raining now. While we head, we're going to duck in somewhere to shelter, and then I'm going to meet my parents for dinner tonight at Giggling Squid. You guys know I love Giggling Squid. Went there for my birthday. Bringing my parents there. And then an early night, I think, because I am shattered. Okay, yeah. Will, is, Will is manning the umbrella because none of Very us have coats shot. and we're trying to stay dry. Very badly manning the umbrella. <laughs> we can duck oh, yeah, we can yeah, duck yeah, under. Yeah. But what a great day, what a great end to the day to see my lovely friends. A fourth friend has joined, a rare Ed. You're smiling like this is a picture. <laughs> this is awkward. The gang's all together. Whenever I pan to you, you always wave, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Save the white shirt. <laughs> And the day is done. It has been the longest day ever. I've literally been up since, what, 6 a.m. and it's now, well, it's only 10.30 p.m. but it feels a lot later than that because I've just been on it all day. I've had the most wonderful day ever but very, very tiring from like waking up to the, um, the rehearsal at nine o'clock and then ceremony at something like 10.30 and then out at half past 11, pictures and lunch and then drinks and I just got back in from dinner. We went to the Giggling Squid which was really tasty. I went for the Thai red curry which again spicy so my favourite. A lot of my family hadn't tried Thai food before so I recommended some dishes I thought they'd like and they went down a treat so feeling really pleased about that as well but I think we're all very ready for our beds and a lie in tomorrow but I couldn't have wished for anything better. My, my whole family made it down. The weather was perfect. I got some lovely pictures. Even managed to see some of my university friends, which I didn't expect. So yeah, just all in all, a very, very good day. And I think even though I was slightly disappointed that I couldn't graduate when I should have done two years ago, this definitely made up for that. And I, yeah, thank everybody for making it such a special occasion. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me graduate because it's really special to have brought you guys along on the journey as well and documented all of it. Um, thanks for watching everybody. I'm off to bed now, so good night.